When you hear the word mushroom, what do you think about first? I picture Super Mario Bros. or pizza. However, most scientists think about fungi. There are three phylum of fungi. They are Zygomycota, Ascomycota, and Basidiomycota. But this video is about the best fungi phylum in the world, Ascomycota. Researchers identified four characteristics shared by all fungi. Number one, fungi lack chlorophyll. Number two, the cell walls of fungi contain the carbohydrate chitin. Number three, fungi are not truly multicellular. Number four, fungi are unable to produce their own food from inorganic matter while plants are able to do so through photosynthesis. Unfortunately, not all fungi in Ascomycota are good. One case of this is a disease of maize known as southern corn leaf blight, which is especially prevalent in North America. It is brought about by Cochleobalus heterostrophus. It basically poisons the leaf. Another destructive fungi is Tafferina deformans, or peach leaf curdle. It causes the leaf of a peach to curl. Tafferina deformans hyphae growing in intercellular spaces secrete polysaccharide degrading enzymes such as cellulase, causing partial dissolution of the host cell wall. This causes it to curl. Likewise, some of the fungi in Ascomycota are helpful. The most obvious case may be Penicillium chrysogonum which produces an antibiotic under the name of penicillin. This fungi triggered a revolution in the treatment of bacterial infectious diseases in the 20th century. Additional fungi are also beneficial. Some of them are choice edibles, morels morcello spp, truffles tuber spp, and lobster mushroom hypomysis lactiflurum are some of the most sought after delicacies. Let's turn our attention to the life cycle of the typical ascomyce depicted in this image. We will start with step 1 in the sexual part of the life cycle, in which two haploid hyphae become intertwined and form an ascogonium and an antheridium. This is not to be confused with the male gemtangium known as an antheridium in plants. Most species grow as filamentous, microscopic structures called hyphae or as budding single cells. Many interconnected hyphae form a thallus usually referred to as the mycelium, which, when visible to the naked eye, is commonly called mold. Asexual reproduction is the dominant form of reproduction in the Ascomycota. It occurs through vegetative reproductive spores, known as the conidia. They are typically formed at the ends of specialized hyphae, the conidiophores. Depending on the species, they may be dispersed by wind or water, or by animals. Sexual reproduction leads to the formation of the ascus, the structure that defines this fungal group and separates it from other phyla. The ascus is a tube-shaped vessel which contains the spores produced by meiosis and which are called ascospores. Familiar examples of ascomycota fungi include dead man's fingers and cup fungi. Dead man's fingers are also called Zillaria polymorpha. Cup fungi is sometimes called Pezzisaceae as well. Fun fact of the video. Did you know that Phylum Ascomycota includes about 75% of fungi? These numbers are constantly changing, so it's hard to know what the exact percentage is. This video, and incredibly emotional voice, was made possible by text2speech.org. Check them out online. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, and before you go, I just realized something. There are three films of fungi. A triangle has three sides. Most mushrooms look like triangles. Most triangles look like triangles. Every section name has three words. Triangles have three quarters. This can only mean one thing. The kingdom fungi is Illuminati confirmed.